Well, hello there, Libra. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing a little bit of a special reading um, in celebration of the full moon in Scorpio and lunar eclipse that is occurring on May 5th, this Friday. So um, during this week and all of next week, we will have the effects of this. Um, it's kind of an emotional time if you're finding yourself feeling very emotional, having things kind of come up, maybe even from childhood or something like that. That's very common. It is, Scorpio is all about transformations. Lunar eclipses help to bring to light some things that have been hidden. Maybe we have allowed them to be hidden for some time. But it's all to clear that all out so that you can truly transform into a higher version of yourself. So we'll take a look first at the um, overall energy um, with the oracle cards, and then we're going to go to the tarot to take a look at what you have learned about yourself, the insight that you have gained over the last six months uh, since the new moon in Scorpio back in October 2022. And then we'll take a look at what is coming up for you, um, how you can release that more easily, and then advice from Spirit about the next best step. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what we have here. So we have distant thunder, clear the air, and embrace your life purpose. Okay, so there, there's this energy. I think the air signs are really having um, this energy about truly embracing the reason that you are here, the why. Um, and it could be that that means that you have to clear out either some people or situations or have a conversation, okay, about stepping into your purpose. It could mean that you want a career change. It could mean that you want to end a relationship. You want to move to a new country or a city or something like that. Usually when we have, you know, distant thunder, it means that something has to be cleared out. It's like a, a little bit of a warning that a tower will occur if we don't make a change. You can hear the looming <laughs> of something big on the horizon. So it's kind of like, okay, how am I going to react to this? For some of you, it could be that you may be feeling like there are the situations in your life that may be coming to an end or having a lot of chaos and you are, you know, with your air energy, you are wanting to make some changes before that occurs. So say, for instance, you're thinking maybe that, you know, there are layoffs coming off, uh, coming up at work, you know, like you've heard <laughs> some gossip or something like that. And so you're kind of like, oh my goodness, okay, I don't want to be without a job. So you could be embracing, okay, where is it that I want to go next? Maybe you've been thinking about starting your own business or something. It's kind of like, okay, I know that there's something brewing on the horizon. I want to kind of, um, kind of a preempt that, you know, if it's a conversation that you think is coming up with somebody important in your life, whether it's in your career or a personal relationship, it, it could be that you're spending some time kind of figuring out how does that relationship align with where I want to go, where my soul is calling me? You know, is this a relationship I want to keep? Is it worth fighting for or am I moving forward? in a different path. So um, I really kind of like this energy because on the bottom, this is really important, you have the Ace of um, Swords, you know, stepping into your truth, knowing that you deserve it, knowing that, oh my goodness, and then you have the Transformation card, the Death card, the Scorpio card, um, understanding that there's no more, you know, I feel like, you know, Libra, you are the nice guy, right? You're the peacemaker of the Zodiac. And I feel like in this situation, you are no longer accepting to be the peacemaker. I think you're you're taking action on what is true for you, even if it means that, yes, you have the Ten of Swords. You have to end something. You have to end something in order to move forward. Um, almost kind of like, you know, setting yourself free. But here's the key. I think you are choosing to set yourself free because you can tell something is on the horizon. You know, your intuition is really telling you, um, oh, there's uh, job layoffs coming up or, you know, uh, things seem awkward in a relationship or something like that. And then really reflecting, how does that play out for me? 
you know? What, how do I feel, you know? It's kind of like, let's put it this way. Say you are in a job and you start hearing whispers of layoffs coming up and you're concerned you could be one of those people. And then you, you spe you're you like, oh, you know, all concerned. I'm going to lose my job. And that would be, you know, <laughs> totally reasonable. And then you go and you spend some time and you're like, you know what? I really don't like that job. I don't, it's really not a job that's in alignment with me. Why am I, uh, I, why am I even in that job, <laughs> you know? And it's kind of like that type of energy where something's coming up and you're recognizing, I really don't want this, whatever it is. I really don't want it. It's time to go in a new direction. So let's take a look at what you have learned over the last six months. You have new supportive connections and two of pentacles. I think you've been wanting, you're understanding that the people or the situations in your life are really not in alignment with your life purpose with where you are wanting to go. It's time for new situations, new relationships, perhaps a new career, right? A new city, whatever it is. It's kind of like, okay, I'm not feeling it. I'm, I'm toying. I'm going between, you know, people that are already in my life and wanting something new. You could be feeling that over the last six months, just kind of feeling restless, wanting, wanting something new and yet not sure exactly what it is that you want or something. I think you're stepping into with this full moon in Scorpio. It is, really coming up for you it is time to make a change yeah so there's the um justice you are the king of wands the, yeah you're the one i think you've done some healing i think you recognize it you know from from a situation some time in the past you've done the healing you're ready to you're ready to go out and seek victory you're ready to go in a new direction you could have stayed in a job or a relationship trying to keep the peace once again right or or, or just trying to please somebody else. And it, it's this energy of, I can't put any more time or energy into this situation. It's draining me, right? And the longer that you stay in it, okay, <laughs> the more drained that you get, that you are self-sabotaging yourself. It's time. It's time to step into who you truly are. It's time to go out there and live the life that you have really and truly been put on earth for to embrace your life purpose to go in this direction. Really beautiful energy. It's a very much <laughs> of a yes. I mean, the king of wands does not sit down. I mean, they have him on the throne there, but the king of wands is somebody that's really motivated, inspired to go in the direction that his heart is calling him too and understanding not everybody's going to want to go with me that's okay if i have to go alone i go alone because he's so determined so passionate so inspired by his what he wants to do what his purpose is that he doesn't even look back you know and i feel like you're you're recognizing that you're holding yourself back from this very inspired life because you're you're, you're staying in a situation or a relationship that just really has expired. You're ready to move forward. Okay, so let's take a look at where you are now. What's coming up for you? Yeah, status quo and three of cups. For some of you, you could be in a relationship, okay? That the status quo is that the person you're with is always having a third party. And third party doesn't have to mean another person. It just means that there is something that is really important in their life that detracts from the relationship, whether that is career or a hobby or a friends or whatever, right? It's kind of like, yes, okay, that that this is coming up in this full moon in Scorpio. I'm tired of this, <laughs> you know? For others of you, you could be recognizing that the status quo is that you're, you or somebody in your life is partaking, partying, okay, um, too frequently, you know, um, overindulgence of food or alcohol or, you know, other activities, okay, that are becoming daily things instead of true celebrations. The Three of Cups is about celebrating, celebrating with friends, but this is like a daily thing, right? This is, uh, you know, like getting together with people on a daily basis and celebrating well, that's not a celebration then. <laughs> that's just a daily habit. 
and kind of understanding, okay, wait a minute, this habit needs to break because it's holding you back. You understand if I stay on this course, right? Or stay with somebody that's on that course. I, I'm, I'm not going to get where I want to go, you know? It's fun to celebrate sometimes, but not every day with the status quo. There's something here that is happening on a daily basis, okay, that is truly holding you back. So take a look at things that, you know, it could be even with the Three of Cups, staying up late, <laughs> watching, you know, uh, movies or, you know, YouTube or whatever, right? It could be that y you have gotten into a habit of just staying up late doing that instead of going to bed at a, a, a reasonable time and, and getting eight hours of sleep or whatever it is that you need. Um, it could be being with other people, putting other people in front of yourself, so that you're not taking good care of yourself. I feel like you're you're just stepping into this energy of recognizing, um, whoa, wait a minute. This, you know, this is not going to help me get where it is that I am wanting to go. So uh, let's see what we have here. Yeah, you're seeing this. You're ending it. <laughs> you have the strength. Look at this. You know, the King of Swords, you see clearly now how whatever this is, that is something that... You may want in your life in moderation, but not on a daily basis or on a very often basis. Let's put it that way, right? So it's kind of like, I see clearly now how this is holding me back. I've got to end it, the death card. I have to end this habit or a relationship or pattern that I have. I, it has to end. It has to end now. It's like ripping off the Band-Aid, you know? And it's kind of like, I have the strength and the courage to do it, but by doing this, by leaving this situation or leaving this habit or belief behind, it's kind of like you find your courage to be to step into who you truly are and become the King of Wands. Truly, not just a, a junior version. <laughs> it's really beautiful because remember, you understand, I deserve more. The truth is I deserve more than this situation is bringing me. Wow, it's almost, it's like eye-opening. I feel like if if you're struggling this week, you know, I feel like it's like eye-opening for you. You're understanding, this is what is holding me back. Okay, so <laughs> what needs to, um, what's your greatest obstacle? What do you need to release? Yeah, you have milestone and you have chariot. Okay, so here's the thing. I think that whatever this is, okay, um, whether it's going out with friends or it's somebody in your life that likes to party or it's, you know, just whatever this is, this represents, okay, I'm going to, this represents what you, you like to do on like maybe a daily basis, that really is something that you should do in moderation, which means like maybe once a week or something, right? It's a very much that temperance energy of moderation is, you know, is the way to go. But it's kind of like something that has become a daily habit or maybe several times a day, you know? It's understanding that the reason you've fallen into this is because it was fun. <laughs> There's something fun here for somebody. If, if somebody in your life is having either third parties or, you know, partying or whatever, right? It was fun for them. So somebody got kind of almost addicted to the fun of whatever that is because they didn't have a, a goal, um, uh, something to really kind of reach for. So the thing that they were reaching for is just, well, I'll have fun. There's nothing wrong with having fun, right? <laughs> but not when the fun prevents you from going in the direction that you really want to go in. And I feel like that's where you're stepping into. You're understanding, well, maybe I just got into this habit. It's not about beating yourself up if this is you, Libra, right? Or if you're in your relationship with somebody and you've stayed, all right? It's not about that. It's about understanding, okay, this almost became um, a, like the slippery slope, <laughs> you know? It just, it, it may have, you know, happened like only a once a month or something and then once a week and then all of a sudden it was two or three times a week and now it's every day or twice a day or whatever, you know? It's kind of like 
it happened so gradually, so slowly over a long period of time that you didn't even recognize how much it was depleting you, okay? Literally depleting you of your time, your energy, your, your, your vibration, your passion, your inspiration, your motivation. It's kind of like, oh, it just became part of my daily life somehow, some way. And now it's kind of like, yes, that has to go. And I feel like one of the things you're doing is setting new goals. How can I get focused again on where it is that I want to go? And it's kind of like embracing your life purpose. What gets you excited? <laughs> you know, it, what gets you excited? Yeah. You know, understanding that you may be wanting to replace something that did get you excited at one time, but it's almost as if it's lost its... It, it, it's magic. Let's put it that way, right? It's kind of lost its magic. It's time for looking for new magic. Yeah. And it, it really is, you have the two fours, you know, you have the four of swords, the four of cups. Just realizing that whatever, whatever this is, okay, that has become maybe a daily habit, either for you or for somebody in your life, right, that you may be struggling with, okay, um, that even that there is this situation where they may have tried to heal it or you may have tried to fix this in the past, but then you were still kind of left discontented in life, right? The reason is, is because you were focusing, this is really kind of interesting. Uh, you were focusing on what you were trying to rid of your life instead of focusing on something you'd like to have come into your life that would come into your life more easily if you uh, gave this up, okay? So uh, let's say it's um, it's staying up every night <laughs> late watching uh, Netflix or YouTube or whatever, right? Okay, so let's say that's something that you used to do just on Saturday nights and then all of a sudden it was two or three nights a week and now it's every night and you're staying up till one or two every more, every, you know, every night, watching, you know, streaming things on the, you know, the TV or your laptop or whatever. Now what you realize is, okay, uh, you may have tried to either cut back or you may have tried to quit at all. But the problem is, is that when you were trying to do that, you were focusing on just getting rid of, you know, the Netflix or the YouTube or whatever, you know. Um, and you didn't really have a goal. The, the thing is, is that it's time to really embrace. Why are you here? What is something you would like to accomplish that you could accomplish if you went to bed at a reasonable time and got eight, seven or eight hours of sleep instead of maybe four hours of sleep, right? It's kind of like, Thinking about it that way, not thinking about what you're giving up because I feel like you're kind of like, yeah, but I really enjoyed this and you do. Okay. But it's not, you're not doing it moderately. <laughs> so the way to get out of it is to really focus on something you would like to bring into your life. So asking yourself, well, if I had all of this good sleep and I didn't stay up late every night, right? Wow, I would really like to start my own business, okay? Um, you know, uh, doing tarot readings on YouTube or something, right? So then all of a sudden you're kind of like focusing on building a business and you don't really even care about watching Netflix. Or maybe you say, okay, I'm just gonna watch them on Friday and Saturday night or whatever. But you get so passionate about bringing in your purpose, right? Um, and it says, I'm guiding you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. I think you're realizing, you know, I don't even really like watching all these movies. You know, they're not special anymore because I've watched all of them and now I'm re-watching them. You know, it's almost that type of energy. Understanding that the reason you haven't been willing to give up the movies, okay, is because you're fearful 
of when you truly step into this, will you succeed? And yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. Um, that is the message here. That it, don't worry about the fears of, well, what is that going to look like and all of that. It's like, no, it's time to go and do this. Okay, so what is your next step? Yeah, you have loss and seven of cups. Understanding, okay, that you are perhaps... You know, and we're talking about streaming movies. For some of you, I feel like it's bigger than that, that you are having to give up. Um, you are understanding that you do have to let something go in order to see the new options. Some of you are saying, probably, okay, well, yeah, but I don't know what I'm going to do, right? So I might as well keep watching the movies until something new comes in. And the universe is kind of saying to you, no. You have to allow yourself to step out of this and go and try some new things because some of you are sitting there going, yeah, well, I don't know what it is that I want to do. I don't know what my purpose is, you know, but meanwhile, you're still spending a lot of time watching the movies. The, your guides are coming in to say, listen, give up the movies or whatever the three of cups is for you. Give that up. Okay, and start trying some new things. You're focusing on, okay, but I don't get to watch my movies, right? Instead, it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to go try something different. Maybe I'm going to go take a pottery class. Maybe I'm going to take a writing class, right? Maybe I'm going to go work at a, a rescue center for cats and dogs, okay? You just start trying different things. And what you will notice is that something is going to come out of that. You know, um, it's about doing the things that bring your heart joy, okay? And just continue doing more of it. <laughs> and then you will discover what your purpose is, you know? Um, yeah, whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing at this time. It will lead you to your purpose. It will lead you to what your big milestone is. You're here for a reason, Libra. It's time to step into that. Oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, so Libra, you know, you have the, the Capricorn energy, the devil with the three of cups. You're attached to whatever this is. Yeah, it's time to, it's time to kind of like, you know, have that energy with yourself, have that little bit of a talk with yourself, asking yourself, what, what am I doing? Maybe on a daily basis that is really holding me back, whether that's a mindset, a habit, a lifestyle, a person that's in your life, perhaps even a job. Okay. It could be even that something that is really holding you back. It's time to heal it. It's time to look at that situation and understand that that is your distant thunder okay that three of cups whatever it is it is your distant thunder it is that thing that you already know intuitively is no longer good for you it's not in alignment with who you are wanting to become and understanding okay i need to address this now or the universe is saying we'll come in and address it for you right? Uh, something will change in your life drastically, maybe not the way that you would like for it to happen. And so it's kind of like, okay, I'm ready to go and look at other options. Other uh, If it's about your jobs or your career, what are some other careers? What are some other jobs that I might like? If it's a relationship, okay, what, what other things, <laughs> do, what other people might I want to spend time with, right? If it's, you know, a habit, a daily habit that you have, it's about, okay, what other activities can I do besides, okay, what I'm spending a lot of time doing? It's time to ask yourself too, you know, with this full moon in Scorpio, why, why did this become the status quo? You know, that's part of the healing process too. And, you know, truly seeking out, you know, advice or help in this situation if you feel like you need it. Um, because I think <laughs> you are truly stepping into your pur purpose. It is time to do this. Intuitively, you have known for a long time. It's time to love yourself. It's time to love yourself. And here's the key. You know, you see clearly now that whatever this is, is you're, you're showing yourself and you're showing the universe that you don't really love yourself because you keep 
kind of doing this, right? It's kind of like, okay, no, I love myself enough. I deserve to have more than this. I'm stepping into my truth and I'm ready to transform my life. Wow, Libra. I, I would say <laughs> out of all the readings so far, this is probably the most, um, most one of the most intense um, energies just being rather specific I would say in if you're you know it's a general reading if you're not resonating then um, it this may not be for you but um, if you are um, I think it's pretty specific of a reading um, and I do Libra do personal reading so if you're interested the link is in the description box below I'd really be honored to do a reading for you okay let's see what your soul truth card has does my room does my life have room for more pleasure and play so interesting because that is exactly Pluto has moved into your fifth house of pleasure and play um, the thing is, is that you have been thinking that what you've been doing brings you pleasure and play. What you're recognizing is that it really doesn't. What it really brings you a lot of pleasure and play is when you're more aligned with your true self. So it's almost as if you're recognizing, wow, that is really um, pretty um, amazing. What you're recognizing is that it, you may have been partaking in something or be with somebody that partakes in something that you thought brought you pleasure and play. And yet at the same time, all of a sudden you're realizing, no, it really doesn't bring me pleasure and play. And on top of that, it's preventing me from being who I really and truly want to be. In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work. Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experience a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What are the things that bring your heart joy, right? It says, whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. What you're recognizing is that something that maybe you, you thought brought you joy and maybe did at one time, it's no longer bringing you joy. It's time to look for new joy <laughs> in your life. Yeah, to put your focus on what really and truly does bring you joy. All right, Libra, I'm leaving it there. Sorry, that was kind of long. <laughs> I um, really wish you uh, so much love and light in this situation. Please be kind and gentle with yourself over the next you know, week to 10 days as we're moving through this um, full moon and Scorpio energy. And um, I really appreciate all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.